Hey friends, Miss Painter here with a, just a quick video about counting coins. Uh, I know we've talked about counting coins before, but that was uh, when you're counting coins that you can move around or hold in your hand. This video will give you some, some hints or some tips to do to help yourself when you're counting coins on a piece of paper or on, on a screen like this where you can't pick them up and hold them or move them around. Okay, so what I would do, um, well, first of all, this is just a, um, these are our counting pennies and nickels. So we have two different coins here. So when you're counting two or more coins, it's very important that you are um, counting them in the correct order so you don't get confused. And also making sure that you don't count things more than once. Okay, so what I would do normally if I'm counting coins, I would and I'm holding them in my hand or I'm able to move them around on a table, um, I would move them as I count them, okay? Well, you can't exactly move these around because they're stuck on the page or on the screen. So what I would do in this case is as I'm counting them, I'm gonna make a little mark over them so that I know that I counted them, okay? So let's take this first square here. I'm gonna start with the nickels because we always start with the biggest amount of coin, the largest amount of coins to start with. So we count by fives because nickels are five, worth five. So we have five, ten. See how I made just a mark there so I don't forget to count? Now that's five and ten and when I count, I'm done with counting nickels so I'm going to count pennies next. I'm going to count on with the pennies because we count on one more because pennies are worth one more. Or pennies are worth one. So we have five, 10, 11, 12, 13. So in that little box there, I'm gonna write 13. And then remember, the set sign is very important. It's a little C with a line. All right, we're gonna do the second group of coins in that second box there. Remember, we're starting with the nickels because they're worth five. They are worth five and the pennies are worth one. So when we pick the largest coin amount and we start there. So we're going to count the nickels. 5, 10, 15, count on the pennies. 16, 17, no more. So our amount is 17, 17 cents. Notice that I'm marking them out as I count them so I don't count them twice, okay? All right, next. The very last box, we're gonna do that now. Five, count on. Six, seven, eight, nine, and I can tell there's one more there that I have not counted. 10, 10, oops, and then the cent sign, okay? Now you're gonna count coins, and when you're counting coins, they're not always going to be on where you can pick them up and hold them. So if they're ever on a piece of paper, Remember to do it like this, okay? Or, or a piece of paper or a screen, yes. <laughs> Make sure you mark them off as you count them. Alrighty, good job.